Yeah? Right? Yes. Deal? Doink. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. <coughs> <coughs> Yes. You work with Acqui India in New Delhi. Yes, that's right. I've heard that you're phenomenal on the dance floor. Only when I'm drunk. Only when I'm drunk. Aha. Uh-huh. What else do you do besides phenomenal dancing? I am an artist. I make sketches of people. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, besides that, I love motorcycling. Motorcycling. And photography. And photography. Yeah. Do you wear a helmet? Of course, always. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm just... I. I'm terrified of motorcycles. Yeah. And I figure at least if you have a helmet on, that's a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit better. What's your title at Acquia? I'm a senior technical architect. Yeah. What's, your, what's your day job look like? What do you what do? You, what do, you do? Um, right now, I'm working with the Lightning team. So my job is to uh, look at modules which the Lightning project needs and how we can get it to the, the release state or RC state. So my job is to go through the issue queues, find the issues, close them, create mm. write patches, and make the module releasable in a given deadline. So your full-time job right now is actually contributing to contributing Drupal 8. To Drupal 8, yeah. yeah. So I'm very familiar with what the Lightning distribution is. Why don't you tell uh, everyone else who might not know about it? Okay, so Lightning distribution is Drupal core along with certain features uh, which we consider to be uh, good for any enterprise uh, application. So uh, we have several modules which are a part of Lightning and uh, we have tied them together. It's it's uh, So like for example, there's a demo framework which is meant to demonstrate the goodness of Drupal and it is built on the top of Lightning. Similarly, you can use Lightning as... Uh, a professional, if you want to do something really professional with Drupal, Lightning is the way to go. And you don't need to do the Lightning distribution. You can take components from Lightning and it's it's a very good thing. You, you guys should just go and check it out. So on the one hand, it's kind of a quick start package. Yeah. And it w- originally evolved from a thing that we called the demo framework. Yeah. Uh, we ended up pitching Drupal against uh, other products, especially Adobe. Yeah. And Adobe gives great, great demos, um, but they fall down on, on other points of the system. But yeah. we needed... To, to quickly be able to quickly put together really yeah. attractive demos. Exactly. So we made the, the demo framework. Over time, it turned out that in uh, enterprise situations with lots and lots and lots of sites, um, you might have had one Drupal service provider build you five sites and another one build you five sites and another one build you 60 sites and they made different choices about how to put together Drupal. Yeah. Yeah. And Lightning became an opinionated yeah. statement that said, mm-hmm. Enterprise sites, build them this way. And if everyone uh, in an organization is using Lightning as a starting point, a lot of choices have already been made and yeah. maintenance is reduced, really, costs go down. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So, yeah. So, the modules that are in uh, Lightning, for example, you can do same thing with different modules. But if you want to have a choice of which module to go with, you should check whether what is Lightning using because, because there are sort of experts who decide what goes into Lightning. So, anything which is in the Lightning is a good reference for you to make the right choice. It's also going to be cheaper for you, and it's definitely going to be better supported. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it, we're, you know, it definitely we're going to be supporting it and testing it and checking it in the long term. Exactly. Yeah. How long have you been doing Drupal, and what's your first Drupal memory? Um, yeah, I have been doing Drupal for seven years and two months now. Seven years and two months. Yeah. Okay. And fifteen so days. <laughs> so yeah. I was uh, hired from my college as an intern and that's how I was introduced to Drupal. So there was this Drupal shop called Bristring Solutions in Bombay and they came to my college to uh, pick some interns. And um, because I had to go and interview these guys, uh, get in- interviewed by these guys, so I tried my hands on Drupal and I liked it. I thought, wow. I didn't know of anything like this in college. Otherwise, I would have used it in my college website. Like we have Tech Fest or Cultural Fest and the website we used to make in HTML and we used to do a lot of coding for that. 
all those things were available in Drupal at that time. I thought, wow, I was really interested in this job. And then uh, why they hired me is because I was do also doing some PHP stuff. At the same time, I was doing some design work like HTML, CSS. And I was a painter and a photographer. So they hired me as a themer. So there was a project uh, in that company which was which was around Bollywood. We started making a website with that. And I was doing the theming part. And slowly and gradually, I started liking Drupal so much that I could not take other job which was in some other company which was a bigger job but I stick with this small company which was a three to four people company then and I just loved this job and that's how I started and here I am seven years later standing in front of you and uh, this journey of Drupal has been exciting. So that must have been Drupal 6 that you started with? Drupal 5. The, so the yeah, Drupal 5 was like retiring that time so we st I started with Drupal 5 and then Drupal 6 came in, so we moved the site from Drupal 5 to Drupal 6. We upgraded the site. Like that project which I was working on was going on since last one year when Drupal 5 was in its peak and Drupal 6 was just releasing. It was 2008. So uh, this site was in Drupal 5. We moved it from Drupal 5 to D Drupal 6 in 2009. Hmm. So yeah, like you can say my initial experiences with Drupal 6 like Drupal 5 was just retiring and just knowing the stuff but the most part of it was in Drupal 6. What's made you stay with Drupal all this time? Like I said uh, for doing anything else you had to write a lot of code for even small things. With Drupal I can sit with a guy who knows nothing about PHP or coding and they can build a website. At the same time, the biggest thing was I can be a part of that. Like I, I knew that I can be a part of this community who is building this. So whatever I'm building, whatever module that I'm writing can go back to the, the Drupal community. Like on Drupal.org, I will have a module which has code written by me. And that was exciting for me. The, the point that someone else will use my code. The code that I'm writing is was very exciting for me. I really like the community. In the year 2009 itself, we had Drupal camp in Pune and we and we met a lot of people across India and there were a couple of people from abroad. And then uh, we really liked it because it was community and I was always interested in people, like-minded people sharing their ideas. The community aspect was great. The ease of making things, doing things was great and I, I just loved uh, doing that. And also f the front-end part was good. I was learning front-end, theming was good, back-end was good. But the most important part was community. Like the people around me, they were nice. They were very qualified. It was good to talk to them and it was good to connect with those people. And that was the most important part. It's an incredibly powerful feeling to have code in a project. Then yeah. it, it, for some people, it feels like it's their baby. And yeah. knowing that Something, knowing that something that you fixed or something that you wrote gets downloaded millions of millions times, of right? And, and helping other people. How is that for you? That is a great feeling. It's a great feeling. The best part uh, that I enjoy with, with Drupal is whenever I put a patch or write a module on Drupal.org <coughs> and I see people downloading it or using it. Or when someone files an issue, like, like I know that they are using it. And it, it, it's, the, it's a great feeling to communicate with other people on Drupal.org and knowing the fact that people are using the code that I'm writing. It's an amazing feeling. How do you feel about DrupalCon being in India for the first time? It's an amazing feeling. It was a dream since last four to five years. In 2011, Dries came to India for a Drupal camp in Delhi. At that time, I think we incepted this idea of uh, having a DrupalCon in India. We all were dreaming that, why can't we have a DrupalCon in India? And surprisingly, I have never been to a DrupalCon before. I was supposed to be at uh, DrupalCon uh, Barcelona, but I was very sick. I got dengue fever yeah, and I could not go to Barcelona. I was a core mentor there, but I could not go there. So this is my Drupal, Dr first DrupalCon and I'm so excited to be to be a part of it. And the fact that it is in India and so many people across the, across the world have come to attend it. The sessions were great and I wish this could, this could happen more often like i'm just I'm, I'm already looking forward for the next next drupal con it's an exciting feeling like we used to have drupal camps which was a big event but this is the mightiest thing that could that i have seen in india and it's a great thing it's so great what have thing. you done this week i have done a lot of things uh, i had two sessions one was uh, on front end using using uh, underscore and backbone js with drupal and the second was how to scale drupal 8 
what are new things in scaling. At the same time, I've attended a lot of sessions of different people. I have got to meet a lot of people. I've exchanged a lot of business cards. <laughs> and yeah, and the best part is I have been working with a lot of these people remotely. I have be, I've seen them through a Skype on Google Hangout window. I've seen the comments on Drupal.org, but we never had a face-to-face -face interaction. The best part was getting to say, shake hands with those people I have been working for two or three years without knowing them personally and connecting with them personally was the greatest feeling. I think this is, this is incredibly important to me. And, yeah. and one of the things that, that Dries and the community got right very, very early, yeah. um, we have all the technology to work together remotely. We yeah. can send emails and put mm -hmm. code up and that's all fine. And so we don't have to travel. Mm -hmm. But if you know mm -hmm. the person behind the comment on the issue right. queue and yeah. you know that she's having trouble at home, yeah. he had a baby, he yeah. lost a job, or you know he was hilarious when you went out or you yeah. remember their taste in food, whatever it is, yeah. Yeah. when you have a connection to someone, yeah. Working together later becomes much, much, much um, easier and, and you can remember yeah. that they're real people. It's not yeah. just um, some words on the screen. And exciting and becomes, it also becomes ex exciting. The same name gives you a memory. Like it's so much easier to work with a person you have known personally. And when you interact, when you interact with them again on drupal.org, it's an amazing feeling. Yeah, so this, this meeting in person is important. And the other thing I think... Uh, Denise t touched on it in her keynote, and, and Larry mm. Garfield has said this mm. before, um, I guess on my podcast even, yeah. uh, really, really early on, Dries started saying thank you for people who send in patches. And then when he came in, he's like, I committed this, mm. thank you. And the thank you is so, is so powerful. It's so powerful, yeah. And there are a lot of patches coming in today as well. There are a lot of people contributing. I've been working on migration today, and hopefully I'll submit a patch. There's a very large uh, first-timers uh, yeah. sprint happening yeah. as well. And, and I think that will give a lot of encouragement to these people. These people will go back and uh, they will start doing contributing. So I, I'm expecting a huge number of uh, more contribution from India this year because we had this DrupalCon. So talk about, talk about Drupal's place in India and where you think it's going. So I think uh, in India, the biggest uh, opportunity for Drupal is to have talents. Uh, there are a lot of people in India who are working with Drupal, but they are not contributing as much. But they are equally capable of doing these kind of, th of things. So what I think is most important for India and where India is going is we will have a huge pool of talent uh, because Drupal is also going in colleges now. We have Campus Ambassador Program. We will bring in more developers. And as a leader of this uh, India community, I think we guys should focus on bringing those guys from being a Drupal developer to a Drupal contributor. Mm -hmm. So once that starts happening, that's and that's where India should go. And we should also do some more business, like from the business perspective, I think India has not really picked up that much as Drupal as a business, like the West. But uh, so that part needs more uh, uh, highlight. I, there should be more businesses who start adopting Drupal in India. When I'm, talking, when I'm talking about business, it's Indian business. What is happening right now is there's a lot of work which is coming from the US or the Europe to India, and we do the work here. But what we're not doing is the work from India, which is going to the US. I think if that starts happening, that is something which would be exciting. I gave a presentation at the mm -hmm. government summit here, mm -hmm. and I was also on a panel discussion about how Indian IT is, is transforming. And I yeah. think it's actually, for me, it's very, very important yeah. that you Mm -hmm. in India also start using your incredible talent pool right. and right. incredible skill and knowledge to, right. s to solve problems in India, to help yeah. the economy in India and do right. work in India for India yeah. and not export, right. not just be a white label outsourcing right. yeah, exactly. country. Yeah, exactly. And I see India's uh, contributions to Drupal. Uh, India's, India's in the mm -hmm. top five or six contributing yes. countries yes. and depending on how you count it, right. I mean, there's an enormous number of, uh, an amount of contribution coming yes. now, yes. which is great. And there are uh, individual companies that are standing up and being their own brands and being right. identifiable for their own work. And I think that's really, yeah. really important. Exactly. There are some big players, big names, which are already there who has adopted Drupal and they have a huge team, like 200 people team working only on Drupal. Mm. So which is a good sign going forward. What is your favorite thing about Drupal? My favorite thing about Drupal is the logo. <laughs> Just kidding. The favorite thing about Drupal is contributing and connecting with people. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. It's been really, really great to meet you in person and the Thank whole you. team in India and the Indian community. I'm so, so happy to be here. I really want to come back. Let's figure that out.
Thank you so much, Jeffrey. It was great to have you here. I have been following Jeffrey for five years, and uh, it was great to meet him today personally. And it's an exciting feeling. And thank you to the whole uh, Drupal Association and the whole uh, uh, community for bringing this to India. Thank you so much. I say I say exactly the same thing. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's cool.